I'm joined now by Darren Hazelwood. He's the CEO of Panther Metals PLC, I'll point out. And Darren, normally I would start talking about uh, progress at the company, but there's something else going on because you recently announced uh, one of the top graphite intercepts in the world, and that happened in Thunder Bay. Graphite is a critical mineral. So uh, if you look at the Washington announcement on U.S. tariffs against China, it's going to put critical minerals in focus and graphite in focus. Can you comment on something like that? Uh, absolutely. Um, if it'd be one of the, the key reasons why as a business and as, as, why as a CEO, I, I, I'm very excited about the potential that, w that we're uncovering uh, on a bonga and its graphite potential because – it's clear that the that the macro environment has changed dramatically over the last four or five years. Um, we were all the rhetoric was around global economy, a single economy that everybody operated within. Well, we've seen huge split, east west split over the last three or four years, and and I that that chasm now is only getting deeper. And it's moved on from just being rhetoric. Uh, you, the actions that were announced yesterday by the American government, that kind of confirms everything that we were and are suspecting. And look, in the graphite market, it, it, I, I, it's the 25 cent tariffs coming on in 2026. I suspected if it wasn't for the fact that the Chinese dominate the graphite market they they they, they have 85 percent of the global market they dominate um to the, the production um that if there was more facilities and more availability in in the west on graphite i suspect that 25 cent tariff would actually have been implemented sooner um i i do genuinely believe that this announcement is confirming that the investment into the processing capacity of graphite is gonna um it is going to drive forward very, very quickly. We've had conversations with, certainly with the Canadian or the Ontario government. Um, they're exceptionally keen to create the circular economy. They have the investment from VW. Is it circa 11 billion Canadian dollars? There's, there's all kinds of things going on in Ontario. And, um, it, and, and I've been incredibly impressed by how quickly and how responsive they are and the support that's there. Does it, and then, does it change and, the corporate approach, though, given that you could have price stability or price appreciation in graphite? I, I don't... I guess the only change we've got to have as a company is we've got to accelerate what we're doing, mm. and that's definitely the plan. Um, it, uh, it's a separate topic, really, uh, but uh, my approach on the last sort of 18 months in the bear market that's now over and we're now seeing we're now seeing um good news being rewarded in the market so it's, it's, it's a kind of two separate questions for us but um no we're in the right we're in the right commodity we're in the like right location we, it, it ticks a huge number of boxes okay I, and i want to come back to that whole how the scene has changed for critical minerals but before we do i want to talk about uh, panther uh, min metals in australia uh, because you've got a significant holding in that tell me about the i think it's called the coglia nickel cobalt project am i saying it correctly that's yep yeah, absolutely right yeah the Cog, Cog, coglia it was a um a project that i actually bought into panther metals uk this all happened during covid and uh, we then moved all of our Australian assets into a separate vehicle on the ASX, and we maintained a, a holding in that business. And um, a very competent team out there in, in terms of the assets and developing the asset. And yeah, they've come out with a with a scoping study. It's got an MPV of four hundred and nine million dollars. So that's a pleasing result. And this company is valued in sterling terms, around 1.8 million sterling, which is absolutely remarkable. And there's been, there hasn't been the reaction that, that we've made you hoped in Australia yet, but it's only come out Monday. People need to do, do a deep dive into the scoping study. It's a very comprehensive document. And to say it underpins the value, I, th I think would be, um, 
would would would, would be a very con a very conservative comment. My, my own my own numbers: five percent of the MPV have put them at at circa twenty three, just north of twenty three cents, and they currently sit at around um, four cents. Uh, so there's a big value there for us. Okay, uh, let's talk about another holding too that you have a significant stake in, Fulcrum Metals PLC. A in fact, you got 15% of the issued share capital, warrants for additional shares, 2% of net smelter return royalty on the Big Bear project. And you're just announcing a tailings update. Tell me about that at the Extract Process Solutions, how you work with them. Well, that's 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 down to Fulcrum. We, 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 we work, it's an arm's length investment. Um, and and I do keep in in regular contact with the CEO uh, Ryan. Now this extract technology is making a lot more waves behind the scene in the mining industry than is currently known, and um, they're now they're now moving beyond the the lab. Um, and I, you know, it, my understanding is that they're working with some serious players in the industry and and things are looking very very positive and that the extract is out of Bechtel, the, the the huge conglomerate in the united states mm. they're not going to lack for funds they're not going to lack for anything to push this forward uh the guys at fulcrum have built a, a, a long-standing relationship up with, with with brendan from from Bechtel, and as a result extract and with the tech huge project again you could look at that i could personally give potentially give fulcrum a a valuation of of, of sort of 100 million pounds if you if the if the technology is proven and they've got uh, they've got um work going on metallurgical work with the extract technology going on at the labs now uh if that comes back positive suddenly the tech huge project it has the it's a tailings project. I think they're targeting a lot of Ontario, but Tech Hughes on its own has the potential. And I'm not going to exact details, but potential to throw off sort of by my own sort of back of the paper calculations. I I reckon circa seven and a half million dollars clear per annum based on on them making sort of five seven seven hundred and fifty dollars per ounce. Um, and 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 then you would have to. So ask what the EV enterprise value is of um, of having that kind of technology and a lab to to do the processing um, in your stable. What what EV value? If you gave that a valuation of of thirty or forty million pounds, which I think that would be conservative, with with an option over pretty much the the whole of Ontario, then you can quickly see how I get to that valuation. Even though to everybody on the outside that would sound extreme. That, that I can fully justify why and we're, we're really, really excited about Fulcrum. Um, some of my investors questioned me tying in our 15% for the next approximately 12 months now. Um, but I had no concerns there whatsoever. Um, I, I think you're looking at an exciting phase in development of that business. And, 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 and running, We're running a little short on time. Just quickly, what should investors expect in the next quarter? Oh look, we're 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 very very close to getting boots on the ground on a bonga. Um, first of all, it's the graphite. We we know from historic reports, we've got graphite is graphite is mentioned at surface in historic reports from sixties, seventies, eighties. It's never ever been looked at. Graphite wasn't a commodity people were even looking for. Um, it's mentioned as being abundant at surface. We've got the single drill hole into the area that that's intercepted twenty seven meters of graphite. We'll be doing that. We'll also be flying drone over um, two, three of our um, our targets, the VMS targets, at the same time. It'll all be done in the same program. Be about a week on site. There'll be news from that, and then um, just slightly further on from that, you you, you will be seeing drilling on a bonga uh, this summer. And Depending on permit applications, will depend on the scale of that drilling. But certainly, my 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 appetite and my need and my want to absolutely take this business to the next level is now, and the market's going to reward that success. And that's why we're doing it now. Aaron, thanks so much. Thanks a lot for your time, Pat.